Hey guys, how's it going? We are going to feature cultists in this run. It's probably going to be the a series that I'm going to do where I'm going to feature classes and we're going to focus on builds around those. So we're going to jump in, do mutagens, cannon fodder. I'm going to say that we I will be adding supplemental classes to try and make it stronger. We're going to treat it like it's a build for King of the Hill. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do. We'll take sticky blood, whether it's going to be... Whether we're going to take mages, I might take some mages, I might take a couple shooters, right? We might we might load up with five shooters as well. We got our drone. So the goal for this floor is to simply get... We just want to get three cultists. That's what we want on this floor. Beyond that, it, it, everything else is whatever. It doesn't matter. We just want to get our three cultists... We're going to go over here. We'll try and get it here. Hopefully we get some luck here. So we upgraded that. I'm going to throw this in there so that this is cheaper. So we need this guy. There we go. We didn't have to buy a troop. And there. There's a little helpful tip here for cultists too. Placing them in this little R formation... Right, like a like a lowercase R is actually will make the they don't have to do any walking really. We'll see if you watch the tentacle here will pop up really quickly. Right? They just sidestep, boom, and it's there. If you do it a different way, that this guy's gonna have to shift up. Saves you maybe a couple seconds. Or not even a couple seconds, maybe a second. But that can be a, di a big difference in King of the Hill. This guy's going to do some damage to our guys in the back here, probably. Oh, maybe not. Because we because we had the summon drone. The summon drone took a bunch. All right. So we came out of there pretty good. The goal here is to try our best at getting the third altar, mutation altar, on this floor. I like to try and get it on floor two if possible. It's fine if you can get it, if you have to do it for floor three. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let them go. That gives us a newbie. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to throw this on here. Yeah, we'll probably do some mages, so we're going to do that. I won't put shooters in yet. Shooters are, are nice with, uh, with cultists. But this will be the build. This is what we're going to try. This is what we're going to run this floor with is just this. Hopefully we have the science lab over here for our thing. Okay, we're going to take our taunt. Perfect. Getting taunt early is really, really nice. Uh, it's not a big deal. We can do this. Throw the tokens in there. We can still manage, I think. We need 100 more tokens. Not bad. Okay, let's see what we get over here. Yeah, so I don't know if I already mentioned it. I can't remember. I haven't have finished my second coffee. But we're going to treat everyone, every build that I do in this series where we feature certain classes, it's going to be a build that we're trying to win King of the Hill with. I'm not going to just try to get by. Now, some of, the, some of them might be like that, but I'm going to be trying my best. Like, I don't know what I'll do with healers. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Um, tanks, healers, and throwers will be interesting. All right, we'll take that. It's not great, but we'll take it. Just because they're... Those three classes, tanks, healers, throwers, they're really, really hard to build around. You can do throwers, but I think... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The next one will likely be shooters. I've had, um, I have had requests to do shooter, uh, shooter runs, so I think we'll do that. I don't think shooters will be too bad. Oh, I, the reason I, 
this tentacle's just doing everything for us, guys, so it's... This is easy. I don't think we're gonna end up with the money that we need, though, to... get our mutation. It's really hard with, um... The RNG that we got here, we didn't get money when we came down uh, to the level, and we got the hole in the ground. So I think that probably makes it so that we can't get it. Then that's fine. We'll get it on the next floor. Over here. We should be fine here. We have sticky blood, so it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, what will happen is the drone will go out, hit with sticky blood. These guys will be a little bit slower, and then we'll be we'll be fine. But what we're going to do is... I think we can manage this, so we're going to go boom. We're going to put some health there, and we'll put that on there. That just makes our drone a little bit tankier. Our tentacle, too, but really it's just so the tentacle can get out. Yeah, we're fine. Easy floor. And our focus goes back to getting 120 tokens for the mutation altar on this floor. Kill it with fire. I do that because you can get a speed boost. You can get, if, if you get the right RNG, you'll get a 20% speed boost. Uh, we're not going to spend anything there. I don't care if this mage dies, it really doesn't matter to me. Okay, so we're gonna take this because we're gonna supplement the, the cultists with mages for sure. Complement, supplement, whatever, whatever word you wanna use, they're gonna be part of the build. But the plan is to likely have somewhere around, I want to say somewhere around 18 altists by the end. That's likely where we're where we're going to end up. If all goes well. I'd like a more uh, another speed up button. I'd like to be able to run this just a little bit faster. Right? There we go. We're going to buy that now and get it done. So now we're we're good there. We don't have to worry about that. All right. We didn't get what I wanted. We can go with Let's take shooters. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna put shooters in here as well, if I can afford it by the end. Probably just the five shooters, just to get the speed buff, the attack speed. And now we're gonna do this as well. We'll get our mages going so that we can have some extra damage. I don't think we'll need it, but if we can get the extra damage out, we'll be we'll be good. And yeah, we'll buy the food. We don't really need to. Maybe we'll just skip it because we got so much in the front, we don't really need to worry about it. Um, let's do this. Hopefully we can get Nope, I didn't get it. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, here. We're still going to be fine. I don't think we need food. I think we'll be just fine. There we go. On to the next floor. 
Oh, wow. We're getting really bad RNG here for these events. Um, let's try this again. Oh, we'll level this up again. Whatever. We're going to have to max this out anyway. We're going to level this up so that we can unlock legendaries because we're going to want the high level uh, pentacles. Where's my thing, man? Where's my thing? That'll do. I don't really want them, but we'll take it. We're going to want all the high-level mages as well. Just for the added damage. Taunt here is great on these guys, right? Because they'll run by, we'll taunt, and then they'll turn around and focus the tentacle. That way our cultists are safe. Otherwise, you're probably going to take too much damage on a cultist. Hungering Fury is nice. Pentacle doesn't take the debuffs from that. Right, but it's it's getting a speed buff. It's getting an attack speed buff. So it's it's really nice to, to have that. There we go. Buy a little bit more food. Also, guys, I, I want to mention, um, I do stream on YouTube here on my channel. Uh, mon Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, a lot of the time it is this game. So feel free to come by and ask any questions anytime. Uh, we have a lot of people that are very, very knowledgeable with this game that hang out in the chat. So come by. We'd love to see you. And uh, ask your questions. We try to, I try to, I try to try out different runs and stuff on the stream. There's what I wanted. We're gonna buy this just to have it. That'll that'll beef up our um, thing, and we're gonna try. We'll get a second tentacle going here soon. Actually, I might buy this right now. We won't put. We're not gonna put cultists out until they are forming a tentacle. So I need three. We will, otherwise, they're not going out onto the battlefield because I don't want to risk them going out there and losing, right? Because they will, they, they're kind of close. Um, very close, similar to the range that healers are now, I think. Healers and maybe they're a little bit around the thrower range, maybe a little bit closer than throwers. It's, it's too close for comfort for me. This guy's likely going to die before the end of this floor. So we'll do this. I don't want another one of these. The idea is to get... For me, anyway, I want just a couple of the high-level ones. And then focus on just loading up on low-level ones. I'd like the scroll if I can get it. We'll see if we can get it. I don't want to spend a ton of money here. Well, we're just going to move on. Not a big deal. We'll take... Uh, we threw a little bit of extra money in health. Also, I don't really... I'm not upset if this guy dies. It's not a huge deal. I still have enough mages right now to do what we need, which is getting our Thunderbolt out. Haunt will take care of this guy. I just, the taunt is so powerful. It's so, so powerful. Um, yeah, we'll take that. I'm probably gonna, I don't know how many mages we're gonna have. We'll see. We're gonna have some mages though. But we'll take that. That's a, that's a pretty good mutation. Take that. We're getting not bad mutations, really. The chance this guy dies here. No, nope, nope, maybe not. Taunt might take care of it. Nice. Beautiful. Let's level that up one more time. There. Now we've got... I'm not going to max this out. I'm not going to max it out. I don't need a bunch of level 5 troops. I just need enough level 5 troops. 
certain builds, maybe you want that 20% chance. I don't need it. I actually need a higher percent. I, I need a higher percent chance at lower level troops. So this is a happy spot here. Uh, let's go with, we want one more. I really, really would like there. We'll buy our, uh, we'll buy the guitar right now. And that's the only one I'm going to buy. But that will level up our tentacles. Our tentacles will be a higher level now. Come on now, get on that. Oh, that's not, a, that's not a newbie. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's not a newbie. Okay, you go up here. You come down here. And I want to make sure that I'm not blocking in these tentacles, right? So I form that little R again. That just makes things go smoothly when we when we bring out the tentacle. This is overkill for the amount of troops, but I've kind of adopted the strategy of taking more troops early and letting them level up. I still end up with really good builds by the end. It's all about what your preference is as far as how many troops. I mean, I wouldn't buy a bunch of low-level troops, but having this many troops is not a problem. Taking care of this boss really easy. The tentacles with taunt, that boss is nothing. Because the tentacles can't get knocked back, right? So that's, that's really, really powerful. Uh, let's go Battlefield Graveyard. That'll give us a free mage. It's not what I want right now. What I want is actually I want to get a Sailor Fuku. Or, yeah, a Sailor Fuku would be nice. But we're going to buy this because that, that's what we, we need for to level up, our to maximize our potential on, on our tentacles. Um... And we'll start leveling up some of this stuff as well. We can do this. We can put something in here, right? Faster speed on, on our tentacle. I don't... I'm not going to be putting a ton in there, I don't think. It'll probably go Hail Satan. So Hail Satan's magic damage, so we aren't going to be able to pile a ton into that. This guy's going to die because he just walks in. That's fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna be flawless here. We have hungering fury yet. Yes, we do. Okay, we won't worry about eating too much then. Yeah, certain troops are better to have later. I didn't really want that guy. Said it when he came up. I was like, eh, I don't really want him, but I wanted the thunderbolt to come come out. At this stage, having those guys isn't great because they do just walk to their death. Mages. That'll just be... That's one of the really good ones to have for your mage, right? And now, now we'll be fine. No one's going to dive to these guys because the, our tentacles are going to take on everything. Might have to do some rotating with these guys eventually here. Let's go like this. I like tolerance. Tolerance is really good for the end game, so I throw a little bit in there. Tolerance again, right? So this is the PvP. A lot of people run silent, so this is just a really good one to have. The more tolerance, the better, as far as I'm concerned. If you can afford to get it, it's very, very helpful. I'm going to rotate this guy out a bit. Rotate you a little bit. That just makes it so that the enemies that 
might focus us will fo focus someone that actually has health. These guys won't be a problem. Normally, they might be a problem. But in this situation with two tentacles, we're in... It's easy street for us. And we want to get a Sailor Fuku if we can. And we might buy... We'll buy, like, a cheap tentacle here and there. Right? Or cheap cultist, I mean. While we're trying to get what we want. I don't want him here. I might buy him and just set him to the side, though. Yeah, we'll just maybe buy him and set him to the side. You can move these guys ahead, and the tentacle will come out sooner, and then they'll focus... The, ten the tentacle will taunt them quicker. That, like, I just don't want to take a ton of time. So what you can do is you can go like this... Right, highlight them all, bring them up, and then what'll happen is the tentacle will come out quick, and it will taunt, instead of those guys getting off attacks on these guys, they'll actually be taunted almost immediately. Maybe they'll get one attack off instead of two. Mages, we'll take that, right? So, I'm not getting a lot of um, mutations so far for our Altus, but it's going to be mostly based the build's going to mostly be mages and cultists. I don't need shooters. We'll take them if they come up at the last second. But yeah, it's mages are going to be an important part of this build. They just won't be the main part. Um, we need some food, probably. Yeah. Well, it's actually cheaper for us to just do this. Walk out this door. We'll go right here, and we'll eat when we when we're outside. I'd like to do this. I'd like to get a, a, a sailor Fuku. There we go. And then we'll we'll sacrifice this guy right outside the boss fight. Yeah. Go do that. Whoops. There we go. Put all the mages up there. And now we'll go in with full stomachs. This guy is gonna... So the bosses on level 4 and level 5 are, are normally kind of difficult. They're not in a cultist build. They're really easy in a cultist build. Right? Because these guys are just gonna go out here and this guy... He's just gonna stand there and get beat on until he's dead. Right? So what, what we're doing here is he's he's kind of... Got a big... He, he takes away a lot of your damage. Once he runs out of mana, he just gets melted. Yeah, what's that do? It does, uh, yeah, it's just blocking is what it does. It blocks incoming damage. So he's out of mana, and there goes all of his health. So essentially all you have to do is just stall with that boss, and you're, you're good to go. Our, another, another one that I don't want. Wow. We are not getting very good luck there. We're going to load up on... We're going to take that. That is a future thing. I'm loading up in the side here. That's for future. We're going to put them out probably on floor 11. Um, We can get one more tentacle going. Healers. You can do a healer here if you want. We're going to do that. Like, you could throw a healer out here and let them just heal up these guys. We, we, we can do that. Let's do that. We'll just throw one healer out here. I'm not going to invest heavily in healers. This guy can stand here and bring these guys back up to full health, hopefully, by, by the time we're done this floor. 
And you don't have to do it at all. I just... I'm just gonna do it because. Alright, so we're taking these guys out pretty good. We just don't want to lose cultists at this point. So a six dollar investment to make sure that we don't accidentally lose a cultist is pretty pretty reasonable. And when he runs out of mana, he's gonna run in there and try and attack, right? So the AI on them is still pretty poor. They have to be aware of that. When they run out of their mana, they're gonna run in there and do some silly business. So let's do this. Give them a little bit more mana. There's no shortage of things to heal. So they're going to be doing that a lot. Now we're going to take some damage here. But that's fine. That just means our healer is going to have more work to do. Makes our investment better. Um, I don't usually like to take shooting tentacles that soon. Because then, then it takes away their... Um, it takes away their aunt, basically, right? It's good to have later on, though. When you get to uh, the mushroom guys, it is good to have. We'll do this. We need some food. Let's go up this way. I bet there's a food one up here. There we go. That's a better taunt. We got it. So we're going to take Hail Satan, right? So we sacrifice newbies and do magic damage. We will take that. We'll get it off the board. We'll go get some food. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I do appreciate it. All the support I've received from the Despots game community and people who just generally like roguelike games. Uh, thank you so much. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Appreciate it. Appreciate you checking out the content. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. When we get to 200 subscribers, I'm going to wear a hot dog suit on stream. I uh, I have a hot dog suit that I will wear on stream when we hit 200 subs. I think we're very close. Go down here, clear this out. I don't really want to chase this guy. <laughs> Not right now, but we will. Hey, we've got lots of money right now. Do that. We're going to start heading down here as well. Get our health going. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. This guy might lead us all the way around here. <laughs> and we might run out of food if I do that. So I'm not going to do that right now. I know he's down here. I need to make sure that I don't run myself that low on food down there. Just chasing after a guy. I'll get him at the end. Yeah, healer's doing pretty good work down here. Healer's taking care of business. Um... I still don't want this guy out. Oh, we have one. Right, we have one. I don't want him out there, though. Just because it's... Zombies, it's a bad mix, right? He's just going to walk in there and take damage, probably. So, but we'll take this. Now our tentacles are going to go up to, up to full health. Or full level. They'll be, they'll be maxed right out. There we go. Go like that. You can go here. And we'll just kind of offset them a bit. Oops. Just stagger them a little bit. I'll try that and see how it works. Okay, we'll go to the food room. So we're up to we're up to three tentacles now. 
and they're they're max level, right? So they'll be they'll be level three. You can see down here, every three cultists summons a, a level three tentacle now, and that's because we have all five uh, cultists out there. So they're still kind of getting in each other's way, so that's a pain. I'll straighten this out a little bit. Move you here. Let's try that. Maybe you have to put them in a straight line. I'm pretty new to tentacle, like uh, two cultist builds, so. Um. Hmm. I'm I'm concerned about chasing this guy. It's not a great way for us to go. I think I'd rather come down this way. Yeah. I think we might end up uh, losing some troops here. There, those, the tentacles got out better that time. Hopefully we don't lose any troops. That's a lot of guys. Oh, there we go. There's our, our healer going in there, dealing their, their massive amounts of damage. I'm sure it's massive. Oh, man. Okay. Um, if I go here and I don't get a... a tr if I don't get a node that's going to let us move, I'm going to regret it. So... I guess we're going to try. We'll buy that. I don't like to. But I... I, I, want, this, I want this money. I don't think I'm going to get the... I don't think See, he's going to lead me all the way around. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, nah, I think I'm going to take the money this time. I just like I like to get the money. Let's see. Would we have gotten it? Yeah, we would have. OK, I'm trying to go back and get food again. I'm not a gambling man. We got good damage output there. Uh, let's go there. They are getting held up a bit. So I'll make some adjustments here with our setup. Move you guys out. For a second. Put you guys here. It doesn't really matter where these guys are. More important where our cultists are. I can spread these guys out too if it becomes a problem. Uh, what do we need to buy here? Uh, we'll take the gun. I think we're going to be fine to put this guy out now. So that gives us max damage on our Thunderbolt. All right, our Thunderbolt is maxed. I'm going to put this guy out too, so then I have two Thunderbolts. All right, now we've got two Thunderbolts. Three tentacles. And we'll go over here. Purchase just enough food. Uh, eight, so we'll go that. Yeah, I know I have a lot of troops on this build. I have a lot of troops and I normally wouldn't, but this is I this is my preference for, for doing a cultist build. It can fall apart really quickly if you don't have the right stuff, right? So we'll go uh, down. And then forward plus A. This is perfect for mages. It gives you a, uh, a chilly attack. Very, very nice to have, right? So it'll... This mages slow enemies attack by 20% for 5 seconds on their own attack. So that's that's really nice to have for your mages. Uh, we're going to buy this because it's on sale. And we can't pass up a good sale. We're going to buy this to keep on just on the sidebar for us. Our healer is... Soon going to die. 
they will run in and kill themselves is what I mean. We'll do that. And I want to get more in there and more in here if I can. But at the moment, we're in pretty good shape. Let's see what we're up against here on this floor. Should be... Um, it should be the Plague guys, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So with any luck, they won't be a big problem for us with, uh, with our current build. We're not doing a ton of magic damage here, so we should be fine. Yeah, we're good. So those guys are easy, right? That's something that a lot of people struggle with. Not hard on a, on this build. We came in and used Hail Satan, though. We might be in trouble. Also, we didn't put a ton in here. I only ever put one in magic damage uh, up to this point. And then I'll start dumping stuff in there later on. Okay, so we got... <laughs> we have to take cleanse. Cleanse is super important, right? They're all really good. Like, but cleanse is just a very, very good one to have. Because everybody run, likes to run silence on on uh, the King of the Hill now. That's a very popular build strategy is to run silence with cleanse. Nice. Okay, that's great for Occultus. I was waiting for a cultist thing to pop up here. Doing a cultist build and I have no cultist stuff. Things. Stuffs. Stuffs and things. Oh boy. We're gonna have to throw some uh, we're gonna have to throw some people in a hole over here. That's fine. Tentacles are doing their thing. Let's get something good. We're gonna take this. Also good cannon fodder, I, I well, I don't know. Maybe we'll pass on it for now. That's got me thinking. Should I buy it? You know what? Yeah, we'll buy it. Yeah, we'll take it. And we'll go... Boss fight, then we'll go up. Boss shouldn't be too, too hard. At this point, none of the bosses should be overly difficult for us. We put something in there. We're going to go here. And we'll go here. Magic damage is going to be important for us because we will run Hail... We are going to run Hail Satan in PvP. So that's important to have. And we'll go up here. We're going to have to throw a couple newbies in the hole, probably. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a food room right there. But you can see our damage is, is our damage is really good already. From and we have only got six mages. So let's just take care of this now. I don't like to do it, but we're we have to do what we have to do. There. That's good. We're not gonna buy anything right now. So far, pretty happy with the build. I think it's been it's been okay. Yeah, the zombie's good to have. He's just going to run out there and eat more damage for us. More tanking. Um, We don't have anywhere to teleport up there. Not a great map layout for us. It's kind of a bad layout. There we go. That's better. Or I just went the wrong way. It might have been a fine layout. I probably just went the wrong way. Uh, go over here again. Yeah, overall, so far, pretty happy with the build. We got we're a few mutations though away from having it be actually good. There we go. It's probably almost already enough to beat Despot. But we're trying to do well in King of the Hill. We want to win a fight, at least. I want to I want to do a little bit of damage in, in King of the Hill if we can. Um, go there, there. 
I might put one into energy vamp for our mages eventually. I might do that, but we won't worry about it right now. We're in pretty good shape. So let's get out of here. I'm not sure how many mages I want. Maybe nine mages total. Um, if possible, 18 or 21 cultists, nine mages and five shooters. Sounds good to me, I think. If everything goes smoothly, we're nowhere near that total right now. Like we need that would be I'm talking double double our cultists and three more mages and then throw out all the shooters at the end. So that's that's a long ways away. Take the melon, that's nice. We didn't get a food room, but we're throwing more newbies in the pit. I'm just not getting very good luck here. One more. Eight dollars down the drain like that. Eh, whatever. Um... See you. Can we get that healer still alive? Nice. See that that was good investment on that healer. I could buy this for sixteen. Yeah, let's buy that for sixteen. I'm not getting very good luck. <laughs> Where are all the cultists and the guns? What do I need for guns? I still okay. I need you. Like I just want to get the stuff on the sidebar taken care of. Oh crap, now I have to kill someone. Um, wait, no I don't. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't have to kill you. Hopefully he survives, we're gonna go. I, got, I looked at my food and thought it was my troops. Coffee. Go little, oh he got sacrificed. I forgot we have Hail Satan on. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> Poor guy. This could be really good with the shooters. It's tempting, because we're going to buff up the magic damage. I'm going to take it. I want to see what happens. We're only going to have five shooters, but still, it's extra damage. These are also kind of like a trial thing, right? I'm trying out new things that I've never done before. It's a good way to uh, experiment. I fall into this trap of just doing the same builds over and over and over. And I think most people do, right? It's like, yeah, I'll just run mages for a whole season or I'll run cultists for the whole season. It's not that fun. So it's I, I'd rather do it this way. We'll buy you. Um, we're going to put out. I just want to make sure I manage this properly. Put this out there. Now. That other cultist. Where the heck is he? Oh, there you are. Getting a little crowded what happens we've got so we got four cult or er, four tentacles that's five four tentacles that's the only gun i need is the the big guy the damage is really good right now we've got good damage healers surviving so that's nice because we won't have to worry about them then um, I will just take it. I I don't like that. Like it's not not like the most useful thing. Oh, good. We're gonna be able to get to a food food room. Mage is doing lots of damage to their back line. Perfect. I guess a zombie does do a ton. I always I always underestimate the power of the zombie. Buy you, get you in the in our stock. And we'll go to the food room.
So that's good because those guys will focus the zombie, right? Give us an opportunity to bring out the, the tentacles and then nobody on our team is going to take any damage from this. So that worked out really well. Doing quick math in my head. I feel like I'm back in school. Okay, there we go. So far, we haven't really hit many uh, issues with the build. Pretty easy build. Cultus, I would say, is a pretty simple build. But an effective build. A very, very effective build for something that's so easy, right? A lot of the other builds take a lot more... A lot more thinking and a lot more precision, I think, to make them work. Cultus, you can just kind of throw them out there, let the tentacles go do their thing in the most, most fights. Especially in the early stages of the game. Like the, the bosses that were on level 4, 4, and 5. Those bosses will cause you all kinds of issues if you run, like, fighter classes. And stuff like that, right? Whereas with tentacles, it's... They don't, they don't, it's like the bosses might as well not even show up for the fight. Armor for mages, fine, we'll take it. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just, it's not what I, what I want. And we've only got another nine, yeah, nine more mutations to go so we want to make sure, hopefully i get some some good rng here for some more powerful mutations cultist build's also really good for managing your economy right like we're able to level things up pretty good and get get things maximized the best way possible we'll get that up to four We might run in some issues with the uh, with the toad guys we'll see like that i call them toad like from super mario the mushroom dudes they'll go underground they'll pop up with our cultists but we can we can try and minimize that all right crocodile head go for it damn not andy Okay, we gotta put another cultist out. Andy, no! That's fine. <laughs> it was worth the gamble. Okay, so I said I wanted nine mages. Right? We're not there yet. And we're still one, one expensive shooter away from having all the guns that we want. This guy's gonna tank all the stuff from these from these guys, so it's it's good that way. Again, we won't take damage. These guys are a problem too for a lot of builds. You don't have enough damage output, they'll shred you. This guy too, he will shred you, but tentacles can't be knocked, right? So it's they can't be knocked down. If some of our guys take damage, we'll just move them. If they take too much damage, we'll just we'll just shift them a little bit. There's um, there's our nine mages. I'm only gonna do nine mages on this build, I believe. I think that's probably fair. And I've never really tested it, so we'll we'll find out. I've never really played around with it. Uh, we'll buy this. Cheap. So there's um, our... Well, that, that'll be 15 cultists. We're, we're really close to having all the cultists that we need. I might end up with 18 cultists, not 21. 21 might be a bit of a stretch at this point. But we'll see. Maybe Maybe it'll work out. We also have to come in with the... We have to come in with enough newbies, right, to sacrifice. 
That's a very important part of the build is we have to have, if we have five, five sets of cultists, we need to have five newbies to sacrifice. These guys might be a problem for us, maybe. Nope. We had enough damage output. I don't want that. Um, it can be a problem because it uses so much mana. It uses a ton of your mana, right? So if we're going to try and have uh, Resurrect, it's kind of important to... I would rather have Resurrect than that. Go back over here, get some food. If, if I was going to pass up on one, it would be Shockwave. So what I did was I left it up on the, on the board there so that I won't get it offered to me on the next two altars. I usually forget to do that, but it's a very, it's a very good strategy to run. We have nine mages, right? I have enough cultists to bring out another tentacle when I want. I might not on this level. I don't really need to. What I should do is I should try and get my gun as soon as I can. And then I have it out of the way. There we go. Oh, on sale. It's on sale, guys. So there, we have all five guns. That's that's just so that we can get the attack speed buff um, for later in the game. That's perfect. So that's 12. We'll buy you. Right. Right. Uh, three, six. Yeah, we have 12. I got 15 over here, 16. So two more. I've almost got all the troops that I plan on buying. Or we might take some damage here, but I don't think they'll kill us. Never mind. We The multicast killed them. But we're good. Not ideal. I will put something back in here so I can re-roll this one more time. Still not good. So we're going to go over here and see what we get here. Hopefully we get some luck. Hopefully we get offered something that we want. For one of our three classes, anyway. Yeah, so we took a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of damage. I might take this now. And then we've at least got it, so we'll take it. I don't rush for it, but at this stage, it's fine to have. Nice. We'll buy our food, and we will go and... We'll pick up these mutations on our way out the door. Whatever. I, I just don't know about that. I don't feel like the damage is uh, is important enough. Like it's good enough to, to warrant it. And oh, I still have a roll. Oh, I have rolls on here still. I forgot. I just added a roll. Okay, we'll take the tomato. I forgot we added a roll, guys. <laughs> but we'll be able to roll this other one as well. Tomato's not bad. Wait, why don't I have a roll here? I guess I don't have a roll there? Oh, whatever. Maybe I bought it there and did the roll there. Anyway, uh, we'll just take something off the board because we're not going to be running it anyway. Boss should not be a problem. Yeah, easy. So all the boss fights have been super easy with this build. I will say that. Probably the easiest build for boss fights in general, like through the entire duration of the, the run. It's been very, very easy for bosses. These guys will go in and they'll be the ones that get chewed on, so that's great, right? We don't have troops going in here getting chewed on. Get our summons. They can go in there and do that. That healer is still alive. That's amazing. 
I'm gonna let them live until the end of this, uh... Until, until I have to actually kill them. Which might be now. <laughs> actually, I might kill them now. Because... I don't trust that I'm gonna get a food room up ahead. That was great though, that healer. So we invested six bucks and everybody's full health. And that makes it so that I'm not gonna have to invest a ton in here. I might put something in this just for PvP, but we haven't had to. Yeah, so we're gonna throw some newbies down here in the pit. I just don't trust that I'll end up with a food room. And because I have Hail Satan, I can't carry them longer than this. I have to get rid of them now. So we're on floor 10. Yeah, I'm happy with what we got. Let's go. Yeah, we didn't get a food room. We would have been... Uh, we could have gone here and sacrificed, but I can't predict that. But we're good. I might put one on there. This isn't necessary, I feel like, but I, I did it just because early it can be helpful. He might get chewed on a bit, yeah. Ooh, he almost died. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, <laughs> don't you, you moron, stay back there. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to put any more troops out until we get to the next floor. Maybe I need more mages. I don't know. Nine mages feels good. Yeah, because once we get these the attack speed up, it'll be it'll be good. Um. Yeah, we won't worry about that right now. Do this. We have to get our magic uh, defense up as well. I'm not using Hail Satan until we get to the end. Right? Like, I don't see the... There's no real benefit to using it in, PvP, in PvE. It's just really strong in, in PvP. These guys will go in and hopefully get chewed on. There we go. I just don't want this guy to take too much damage, but right now we're good. Come on, give us some good luck bad it's not what we want but it's not bad what we want is it, it a lot of the pvp especially in grandmaster anyway or even when you get to the top of even a greenhorn league it comes down to your rng what did you get for your mutations right and we don't have bad mutations like we really don't we've got you know, we've got some good mage stuff. We've got some good uh, stuff here. It's not, it's just not the ones I need to really do good. We could use cleanse on here and we could use revive, uh, res on both. If we had res on both, like that's really strong. Go this way. But I think this will be good. We'll, we'll probably uh, win a couple win a couple fights in in King of the Hill. I don't know if it's going to be my best ever build, but yeah, it's 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 definitely a good one. Okay, so we wanted that, right? So we need one more cultist. Let's just roll, see if we get it. Um, sixteen tokens. I'd rather just buy a cheap guy if I can. Ever. It cost me the same amount in the end. Um, just bought the more expensive one. 
Anyway, there we go. We've got so we've got all the troops I think that we're gonna run with. We get, we're gonna have nine mages, eighteen cultists, and five shooters. So it's it's very much a cultist build. And there's that shockwave again. I don't want it. It's just I I feel like it just uses too much mana unless I unless I can't get revive like the resurrection, then I might as well have it. I guess. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna actually pick one of these up because I'm. I don't want to travel back for it. Let's take this. Got to get that as well. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, you have to rely a lot on RNG, right? So, just one of those things where sometimes you'll you'll get like a a god roll kind of thing, right? You just get the best possible build and and you steamroll. A PvP part of the game. There's Shockwave again. I, I'm not going to take it until I get to the very end. Okay, we'll put that on our shooters, right? Because we are going to have some shooters. That's not terrible. It's not the greatest thing, but we will take it. Go over here, get some money from this guy. And then I think we're going to floor 11. This, I will say cultist builds take longer, right? It's a longer, it's a longer run than, um, say if I was running a fighter build, I would already be through here. It would, it would be over. It does take a bit of time. Is the, uh, the tentacles just are slow. Um, I'd like that one more and we got to get this up. And I might put more into our attack speed on tentacles. And maybe attack damage. I haven't really focused it at all. We'll see. We'll see. We've got all the troops we need, right? We've got everything we need for troops. So everything else is going to go into... Um, it's all going to go into just mutations. Came out of there, not bad. Hopefully we get something good here. No, we did not. <laughs> Nine tokens. I'm not buying any more troops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put out the rest of our tentacles. Uh, maybe another one kind of in the middle. But I'll, I'll move them over here. So we'll get... This is kind of like our... We're going to start prepping for... For the end game. I won't leave them here. I'm just going to move them as a unit, I think, as a six-person unit. Swap those guys around. I'm still not 100% sure where to put my mages. It's going to be a mess. There's going to be so many things going on here. Maybe the mages should be in the back so the tentacles can get out. That actually might be the right play. Let's move all of our mages. I don't have that many. Nine mages. Right? That's eight. Do I only have eight mages? Oh, well, that's stupid. Oh, because that one guy died? What happened there? Or am I missing one? Nope. I've only got eight. Well, that's why we're not doing a ton of damage. I don't think anybody died recently. Oh, there. I thought we had nine. Okay, now we have nine. And we're going to... Actually, let's do this. I just want them, like, bumped head just slightly. Put you guys back there for now. Go like that. Like that. We'll try this. I don't know what the best way to do this is. 
not like a cultist uh cultist main if you will oh there there's a the mage now i have 10 mages right well we got 10 mages i didn't see him he was hiding We'll just set you there. You go there. Okay. Shooters. I think shooters we probably are fine here, so we'll bring them out as well. This is going to be our, our full build, so... This is a huge team. Like, for me, I don't usually have a team this big. <laughs> the shooters are... I'm gonna have to rearrange this for PvP, but let's go. Not bad. We didn't take any damage, so that's good. Yeah, we gotta buy some food, don't we? Um. I guess I should have just bought that. Lesson learned. We need some RNG here. You guys barely got their thing off, so that's good. I should put something in here to buff that up a bit. Um, see, I, I'm not going to take silence. We'll leave that here like this for now. We'll probably get garbage RNG. I always get bad RNG on the, on the 11th floor. Yeah, they're only getting like one thing off. That's fine. With ranged attack on, on tentacles, it, it pretty well does nothing. Let's do again. Oh, it burns mana. Explosive attack. Well, no. We, we gotta try and get what we need. Fast reload could be good. I gambled and I lost. Just take it. <laughs> Stinking RNG. Oh, well, guys. We're, we're gonna have a good build. We're also going to go in starving so that we just, like, into the boss fight, we'll go in uh, starving as much as possible. So that our tentacles have a fast attack. Everybody will have quick attacks. We aren't buying anything there. Max that out. Very important to max that out, I think. Strong build. The zombie can't get out. Do that. Save me some trouble. I don't feel like doing math now. Beautiful. Our guys are starting to level up, so that's why we're killing things quickly now. Um, let's do fast reload. Just take it. We didn't get good RNG here. I can't help that. Um... Let's do this. Let's see. We'll just take you. It's still gonna be a good. It's still gonna be a good build. Don't get me wrong. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a fine build. 
for PvP. Just not a first place build. Juder's likely gonna have to move to the back line. Because they want to run right up front. And we have to remember, we, we still aren't doing our magic damage with our... It might seem underpowered right now, but we haven't been using Hail Satan here. That will add a whole nother uh, level of damage output. Do the build. There's our boss. Boss fight will probably be really quick. Yeah, I'm going to eat. I want to make sure that we're, like, starving here when we get back. So we're going to eat now. Because starvation doesn't affect magic damage, so I don't really care. Most of our build is magic based. I, I assume that eventually that'll change, though. They'll probably start doing more. They'll probably do something where it might affect alt all damage types, which would likely balance the playing field a lot more. <laughs> it's kind of rough right now. Yeah, so we're going to be starving. That's that's what we want. We want to be hungry going in here. I'll probably level up a couple things before the boss fight. I don't want to lose this shooter, really. It might happen. Um, Let's do... Let's, we have to rearrange this. We, we're going to do like a line of cultists. That's not a cult. You're not a cultist. We'll do this quickly as possible, and then we'll do the, uh, the fight. Usually, uh, I... I, anytime I've ever ran cultists in here, it's usually pretty quick. The tentacles do a lot of damage. I'm missing a cultist. Where are you? There you are. You just go hide over here, okay? I don't really care about the rest of them. Um, Let's go with... I want more mana, just to be safe. And then maybe magic damage. Yeah, or this. Actually, let's just wait. I might, I might bump in our health. I might put our health up. Actually, I think I'm going to put damage. I'm going to put the tentacle damage up. Summon damage. Just going to bump it up one time so that they do a bit more damage. Taking a little bit longer than I want it to take to do this. Not that he... Not that we were going to lose the fight. I just don't like that he's not dead already. All right. Nobody died. 33 troops. So I'll go back to our mess. I don't know how to set this up here. It's kind of a mess, but it's going to be what it is. Um... 
So I want that. Do I want health or do I want magic damage? Also, oh, oh, before we do this, before we invest in anything, we need... We need newbies, so I can't buy health. Um... Also, I need to put this... I need this guy out front. Let's do this. You go stand here. Brave soldier. <laughs> That's a lot of troops on the battlefield. Holy. I don't know if I've ever had... Like, other than a mega newbie run, I don't think I've ever had that many. Well, let's do this. Let's see what happens, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna min maximize that. I, I don't know. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot happening with this build. Well, what was that, 20th? Up 20? I know this is, I was like, this is a good build. I've, I fought this build uh, multiple times now. They one-shot us. Because <laughs> we didn't have revive on anybody. Gutter versus gutter. That's why I was talking about having the RNG. Not having that is, is bad. But we're probably going to beat my, my build that was sitting there. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. It's a tentacle fight. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> that build was better. I can't even remember what the build was. But it's a top 20 build, right? Because we beat Bittersweet. Probably have this too. Should have this. Fighters coming through, chopping things down. Oh, maybe we don't. We might not. The sticky blood is uh, is doing it. We want to fight. I think we got this. Oh, that's... <laughs> There's gonna be Kaelids everywhere. Oh, we got 20th. Shooters are good. I, I'm, I'm looking... Uh, I, I think the next one we're gonna do is a shooter build. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Maybe there was something in here you learned. I hope. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're close to 200. Um, thank you so much for all the support, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.